Right, let's check in with the money desk. Devin Morgan joining me in studio once more. And Devin, increasing pressure on the business sector to respond to what's in that first state capture report. Yeah, because businesses have been implicated and many of these umbrella bodies are now saying how things should pan out. But of course, accountability is a big thing here. Uh, so Sally, we start here. We've already heard Business Unity South Africa uh, they are offering help to the National Prosecuting Authority to prepare cases against those identified in the state capture report. And now we want another view of a, another major umbrella body, Business Leadership South Africa. Busi Mavuso joins us. Busi, uh, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. So you've called for a corruption charter. I've seen that editorial of yours, uh, launching of a public procurement and corruption agency. But before we get to that, I mean... There are those in the business fraternity that were fingered for being involved in the uh, corruption uh, report. So a clear stance from an outfit like BLSA on where it stands with those businesses. I think that's much needed, isn't it? It absolutely is, Devon. Good evening, and thank you very much for inviting us. So, Devon, we are definitely of the view, you know, that business and BLSA in particular is going to do everything in its power to work with institutions like the NPA, the SIU, the AFU, whoever needs the support, because we know that we're dealing with a great deal of incapacity in as far as those of our consent. We are going to be working with them to ensure that, though, that those that have been found wanting in as far as their involvement in the state capture project is concerned are actually brought to book. You know, we know the dire impact of the stage capture project, you know, and, 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 and the impact that it has had on our economy. And we continue to suffer, you know, uh, those uh, 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 consequences, you know, of what the stage capture project did, you know, to South Africa. We're sitting at the levels of poverty that we're sitting at, you know, high unemployment levels. And we are just going to take a lot of time as a country before we can actually recover, you know, to pre-stage capture and levels, you know. Uh, so we are of the view, you know, that those need to actually be uh, uh, prosecuted, you know, and they need to be brought to book, and the sooner the better. Yeah. Bruce, business leadership South Africa has faced some criticism over the position on that company, Bain. I mean, it's a company that was singled out in the report as being uh, verbatim here, the clearest demonstration of the patterns of state capture. What is the BLSA? Number one, no companies beyond reproach. And number two, the architecture and system of business is not inherently corrupt. What you do have, however, Devin, is you have individuals, and mainly when you look at it, you will see that it is normally those that are within the position of power. It is normally those that have the authority, you know, to can actually therefore, you know, put the company in a position that they find itself in, that KPMG found itself in, that you know, uh, McKinsey found itself in, that SAP found itself in, that ESCOM found itself in. You know, the list is endless. So mm. in as far as Bain is concerned, if you're going to punt the narrative of Bain needs to be dealt with, I believe that you are still protecting those individuals that actually perpetrated the state capture project. You need to name and shame people. You need to put a person behind bars. You need to prosecute a person. Because then if you are not going to do that, if you are going to be fixated on an institution, then I'm worried that you are protecting these individuals and they are therefore going to go ahead, you know, living their lives, you know, and continuing as if nothing has happened. And the likelihood is that they are going to continue to do the same that they did in Bain and within all these institutions and other institutions as well. So that mm -hmm. is our standpoint, Devin, and we absolutely believe that Bain, you know, in the context of those that were found wanting, definitely needs to be prosecuted. Um, I'm, I'm just going to slip two more questions into you, Yabusi. First of all, very quickly, I mean, Busa spoke to us a few hours ago, earlier in the afternoon. They will sit down and engage with those uh, businesses that were thinking. I mean, what type of engagement are you having on the front? So we are actually, you know, uh, and I think this is what we've done since this came out. You would remember that we're one of mm. the organizations, Evan, that were jumping up and down for the setting up of the State Capture Commission. And we did that knowing fully well that the public sector could not have done this on its own. The reason why the state capture project got to the level that it did is precisely because business was actually involved. Business was actually complicit. So we've had those conversations, but in having the conversations, 
because we depart from the premise that normalization is beyond reproach, and we depart from the premise that the architecture and system of business is not inherently corrupt, mm -hmm. in having a conversation with those institutions, we talk about what is it that you need to do as an organization to ensure that what happened within this company does not happen again. What institutional reform do you have to put in place? What atonement are you going to put in place to ensure that you know, you make good what you actually destroyed. You know, are you going to, actually, it's not even a question of are you going to deal with the leaders or the executives that were involved. It is a statement, you know, and it's mm. an assertion that make sure that you get rid of those executives that were involved and make sure that you actually lay criminal charges, you know, against those executives. So we therefore work with those companies, you know, to ensure that they can get their house in order, that their backyard can be clean, you know, and that they can actually get the business to actually operate, you know, within an ethical manner. Mm -hmm. And I think it was for this reason, Devon, that we actually put together an integrity pledge. It gave us the power to can actually sustain the likes of Bain and KPMG, and to can actually say that you are either going to make sure that you operate in an ethical manner, or you are actually going mm -hmm. to be expelled, you know, by business. And I don't think any organization wants such shame, you know, of being expelled and not being able to sit around table with their peers. So I well, think I those are some of the interventions mm. that we've put in place. Very quickly, just a few seconds left. I mean, we hear the Justice Minister, uh, Ronald Lamola, saying that perhaps maybe we could have these sort of mini courts to deal with precisely just the issue of, uh, of state capture. I've just got a few seconds left. You think over and above the agency you speak about, um, will, that, will that sort of speed things up? What's your take on what's the next step as far as process is concerned? I think it definitely will. And I think, as we've said before, we say it again, Devon, we stand ready as the NSA to actually support in as far as the resources are concerned in mm. terms of ensuring that those costs are actually put in place and they are fully operational, you know, when business stands ready to actually, you know, give the support to resources and whatever the government will need to set up those speedily and bring these fees, you know, into book and make sure that they're in orange overall, paying executives in view. All right. Thanks very much indeed. Fair enough. Busi Mavusa is the Business Leadership South Africa CEO.